So what I want to do is I want to come back to UT, to you guys, your club, and I want us to do a boot camp. It takes about three hours to get you guys trained and involved. All right? Now, something else. Not just your volunteerism. Yeah, we need your money, too. <laughs> yeah, you can't do it as simply on rhetoric and pipe dreams. Look, college kids, hey, we don't, got any, we don't have any money. Hey, on our website, we've got a $1 donation button. That means giving up one beer in a plastic cup, all right? <laughs> and you can donate to our, to our, yes, it's going to take boots on the ground, and it's going to keep you guys being able to financially help us. Our Travis County Deputy, Kim Chambers, is going to pass around our email list. I'd like for everybody to sign up on the email list. We want to let you guys know what we're doing. I mean, the billboards and all that stuff is great. That's part of our messaging. The TV commercial that we've done, the two TV commercials that release, even right here in Travis County, that's We want to be able to, to take you guys and say, hey, you know what? You keep TV commercial. Here's the budget. Do what you want to do on this particular issue. Bring it back to us. Give you agree, we'll make the media buys or whatever. Whatever you want to do. I bet you guys will be awesome at policy development. Solutions. That when we have a set of candidates for our Texas PAC and federal PAC, all we have to do is insert them into the solution. Maybe guys will be good at polling. We need folks to be able to do polling. Anybody here that's the great head of our polling organization. Help us in our polling. Are you good at um, scanning databases and being able to uh, mine for data out of the database and give us information to help candidates to build policy and porn. All that is what we're doing at RaisingElephants.org. What we're doing actually is a vacuum that the party at all level hasn't been doing. And growing the conservative voting base. If your base is smaller than their base, if our base as Republicans is smaller than the Democratic base, what's the outcome of elections? Talk to me. You lose. If our base is smaller than base, and the leadership is only focused on getting out the base, what happens? We lose. You're going to have a hundred surveillance. We could all be energized to the point where our hair is standing on end. Okay. But if their base, their base is than our base, Wheels, right? So we got to grow the base. That's what we're all about. That's the skill set we're bringing. Um, guys, do you have any questions right now? Any questions? If there's any questions you'd like to ask, I'll, I'll be happy to fill a few questions. All in the back of the game with the, with the bow tie. Yeah. Uh, earlier you talked about uh, the branding strategy. One of my professors said that conservatives have no aesthetic. Um, what message about conservatives that found Facebook? Is something to the effect that Latinos are all conservative, they don't they don't realize it yet. I think it was actually posted by someone here that got to my friend's computer through mutual links. And I remember she laughed about it. I remember she pointed out to some of her other friends in the office and they were laughing about it and they had a good laugh at the one conservative. Um, what do we need to do? What, 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 do we need, what do we need to stop doing uh, in terms of style, in terms of aesthetic, in terms of, of craft our message? What do we need to do differently? Yeah. Uh, the new buzzword in politics these days is optics. How does something look? Right? Um, don't underestimate those Roman columns at Mile High Stadium. Optics are very important in this in this era of American Idol. Um, thanks, Kim. Um, <clears throat> what we have to do? Um, we're selling Big Macs, y'all. That's what we're doing. We're selling Big Macs. If 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 you if you if you buy a Big Mac in Seattle. Are you buying one in Albuquerque? Are you buying one in the South Bronx? Are you buying one in Toulon, France? They all taste the same. I know I got one in Toulon, France. Taste the same. Taste the same. But if McDonald's 
Once folks to walk the Golden Arches in Toulon, France, the commercials had been French, right? Are y'all hearing me? Yeah. If one, African Americans to walk under the Golden Arches, then what do you see? The commercial is different. The faces in the commercial are different. The pace is different. The beat is different. The copy or the words are different. The, you know, the kid had cocked to the side, he's getting his swag on the fries. <laughs> But the issue is, they're speaking to that community in a way that they understand. So all we, as conservatives, what do we do? As always, what do we do? We just scream, liberty, 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 constitution, 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 low taxes, low taxes, low taxes, and we expect people to come forward. No. They don't understand what constitution, liberty, or low taxes means for them. They don't understand that be able to craft message to where they under to help them understand actually what liberty is. They don't know what it is. So thus, when tyranny is rolling down the street, they don't know what that is either. So when you when you're crafting your message, you know, you have to understand who your audience is. Alright, optics. Right. Roll back to 08, Denver. Democratic National Convention. In the delegation, you've got one-third white, one-third black, one-third Hispanic, and, and not only that, their rules say it has to be this racially diverse. Their rules say it has to be this racial diverse. So the person who turns, turns vision on sees this one-third white, one-third black, one-third Hispanic, and they're all holding hands. Love train, get on the love train, love train, right? So although they may not agree with the principles that are being espoused for podium, they're looking at optics, they're looking at the perception, and that's their worldview. That's what they want. They want the races, you know, in <laughs> harmony, everybody getting along. One week later, turn the TV on, we had the Republican National Convention in Minneapolis, St. Paul one of the whitest cities in America. <laughs> and you had less than 40 black delegates, RNC, less than 40. You know, you, understand, you recognize the camera, the TV cameras are hunting for a black face so they can show a black face with 20 white faces around it to give the perception, although they the audience may agree with principles that are coming from the podium. They're looking at it and they're saying, these folks are obviously not for us. I don't know how the audience looks like me. You, you have to go through by name. Walk down the campus of the University of Texas. Well, anybody would go to the University of Texas, they automatically think you're a liberal and democrat. If I walk down the middle of a street anywhere in, in the country because of my skin color, I am automatically assumed to be a democrat. Automatically. And for most of the people that you would have gone and talked to, in communities of color, whether the brown community or the black community, and you were to talk with them as our numbers are showing, they are conservative. So you have to craft a message. When, 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 when you had Hill Research in the Woodlands doing polling data immediately after 08 where folks of color equate conservatism with racism, they equate conservatism with racism. They equate the GOP with being white supremacist, white only. They actually think that. So that once you identify these hidden conservatives in these democratic precincts, now the work begins of educating. Educating. And letting them know that these folks that you've elected to high office, they don't agree with your values. They're leftist. They're liberal, they come out of, out of left bank. they come out of, uh, you know, whatever. They, very few of them have ever owned a business, have ever served in the military, ever. 